Hello and welcome to Builder Bob Behind the Scene. We're going to do something a little bit different in this video. Um, I'm not an expert on lighting, but I'll tell you what I know and what I think about it. Uh, working with the cameras we've got, we use the Canon XA35 and the G40. And the uh, nice thing about the XA35, they work great in low light. But it's been my experience, we use LED lights, and it's been my experience that the 500 LEDs is the minimum to go with. So you avoid some of those issues and problems trying to get everything matched up later on. So as an example, what you see right now, as you see me, uh, I'm working with 1,000 LEDs on one side and I've got 500 LEDs on the other. Uh, so what I'm going to do is an unboxing of a Draycast. Uh, this particular light is 1,500 LEDs. should last about 50,000 hours, which 50,000 hours for me should be quite a long time. As long as I only use it when I need it, then I shut it down. Now the way to buy one of these lights is when you find them on sale. This light can be a very expensive light, and it's a, a high quality light. And because we found the Draycast, let me back up. The first light we had is an ICANN, which we still use. It's 500 LEDs. It's been great with the G40s. Uh, normally we have two 500 LED lights, the ICANN, a Draycast, and then we added the 1000 LEDs. And now this is 1500 LEDs, also Draycast. What I like about the Draycast is its quality. It comes with a bag, a nice padded bag. The bag on the side has a place for storage. So that's where the electrical will be sitting. There's the power. Then the main compartment in the top is where the light will sit, right in there. So we'll take that bag and set it aside right over here. There's also a manual in here. Here's the manual, Draycast. Talks about the different models, setup, nice to have. Shows the models on the back. And then this brochure from Dra Braycast, which is Draco Broadcast. Congratulations on the purchase of your new Draco Broadcast products. We're confident your new equipment will provide you with years of professional and unparalleled quality and performance. If, however, for any reason you're not satisfied or need assistance, please do not hesitate to call our office. When you register your new equipment at dracobroadcast.com slash register, We'll say thank you by sending you a free LED phone light. Hey, that's kind of cool. On top of that, registering your product ensures that you receive the best customer care from us should you need it. Good to know. So that's what that's about is a registration card. Good idea to do it. Like I said, I found this on B&H. Had, had a wonderful place. Had great luck with B&H. So I'm going to pull this top piece out. Tilt this here and show you what it looks like. That's the light. So we'll pull this out of the box. So on the front, and this has the barn doors on it too. I didn't get that that had barn doors with it. I thought that was going to be something extra. The mounting clamp. And on the back, we've got our controls for daylight and tungsten for the dimmer. And we can go on power or on the other side for a battery. And this uses the V-mount battery. And you can also get a battery plate so you can change this out. And I just now noticed on this V-mount battery plate, there's a side for extra power from a D-tap. That's pretty handy. Sometimes you pay extra for stuff like that. What I've noticed in some of the drawings is it's a little bit awkward to figure out how you're going to mount it. Because for me, I would, I would like to mount it like this, tilted down. But without having to use a C-stand and an arm and all that kind of stuff, if I can use a regular light stand, mount it this way, tilt it, then I can put it on the arm right through here. Turn it right side up. So I'm going to get a stand out and we're going to we're going to mount this and see how it looks. This is a Manfrotto light stand, 1004 BAC. And of course I have these where they're three in a bag. Didn't buy them three that way, but bought them as I needed them. We're up to four of these now. Okay, here's the light stand. Now what I'm going to do is line this up before I get up on top. So I want this parallel. So when I raise it up, I'll be right in line. Drop that on, tie it down. I've dropped it on, tied it down, and I've straightened it up because what I wanted to do was get this stand parallel with the light and perpendicular so I can raise it so I can tilt it. I need the ability to tilt it without adding to the weight. I would like to be able to tilt it the other way, but all I can do is flip it sideways. 
So this is the simplest thing to do. I can tighten the sides, and of course, this particular stand, they're air cushion, so I can raise this up. So there you have it, Draycast. Now I'll turn it and we'll open it up. Now the acrylic that's in here has a film on it, so we're going to take that film out. So there's a tab at the top and the bottom that I can push in to, un to unlock, and I can slide this out. So we're going to slide this panel out. This diffusion panel has a film on both sides. So we're going to peel that off. You want to be sure and do this before you use it. Nice and clean. Slide that back into the track. And I'll make sure that tab is at the bottom pulled out so that it'll stop it. Pull the tab at the top out. So there you have it. We took the panel out. We took the film off of it. We slid the panel back in and made sure the tabs are sticking out at the top and at the bottom so that this wouldn't just slide right on out. And so there we have a light with barn doors on it ready to be used. All we have to do is plug it in or plug a battery to it. Now if we put a V-mount battery to this, that's going to add a considerable amount of weight. Um, per personally, I prefer the cameras on batteries. The lights, I've been plugging those into power. Uh, when we do our remote shoot for Builder Buy, we use the lights in the facility. Taking lights, the extra time it takes, we just don't have it. So we're working with the lights we have. But when we're shooting videos like this where we can edit, I use as much light as I can. So that'll give you some idea of what that Draycast light looks like. So if you're interested in it, that's available at B&H. And if you've got any questions about it, let us know. If you can find this light on sale, that's the time to buy it, not regular price. But it's an impressive light. And right now we're going to be shooting with a 1,000, with a 500, and we've just added a 1,500 to our assortment. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.